Welcome to my art studio. Today I've got another painting tip for you. So if you've ever felt like your artwork falls short of your expectation, I'm sure you've been there, we all have, and maybe you start a painting with a burst of inspiration and excitement, but as soon as you start seeing the painting take shape, it's like your vision kind of like got lost along the way somewhere, and if you've been there, or maybe you've been painting for years, but can't seem to see that improvement in your paintings, and that sneaky little thought creeps in, do I even have what it takes to be an artist? Well, guess what? I've been in exactly the same boat uh, many times, and I actually remember each painting session being like a roller coaster of emotions where I'd love it, and then I'd hate it, and then I'd think it's okay, and then I'd ruin it, and then I'd fix it. And chances are you've been trying to up your art game by doing what? By painting more, right? After all, practice makes perfect, that's what everybody says. But what if you are practicing the wrong things? And that's what I did for so long because if you're practicing the same thing in the same way, you're gonna get the same results. But if you wanna see progress and improvement, you have gotta change what you're doing to get those results. Think about baking a cake, uh, you follow a certain recipe. If you keep using that same recipe, the cake's gonna end up the same, it's gonna taste the same. But I'm actually inviting you into a new way of looking at art skills and mastering those art skills. And this is a process that I've shared with hundreds of students in my online painting course. Now here's the key, it's not just about practicing painting. So many uh, beginner artists try and learn painting and end up overwhelmed, feeling lost, and kind of struggle to know how to implement those techniques in their own artwork. And this makes them feel stuck to relying on tutorials because tutorials are the only way they end up creating something that they're actually happy with. And then the question we have to ask ourselves is, if painting is one skill, why is it that some artists create beautiful, colorful, abstract, but struggle to create a lifelike painting? Whereas other artists can create beautiful lifelike landscapes but maybe struggle to achieve that painterly loose impressionistic technique and that's because artists can excel in one certain skill involved in painting and not in another so what are those separated skills they are drawing value color composition and technique and artists who are serious about their work and create a body of work in their own style that they're happy with they know that working through these five core skills individually it means that you can hyper focus on each each skill at a time, which gives you dramatic progress, ends up in you feeling confident about what you're creating. And I tend to think of it like a dancer. If a dancer wants to improve their dance, they don't just keep dancing non-stop to get better. They stretch, they strengthen their core, work on their balance, their coordination and musicality. They do it slowly in the mirror. And that's because dancing isn't just one skill, it's made up of many. And the same goes for painting. It's not just one skill, it's a fusion of these five individual skills. And here's a secret. When you take on each skill individually, that's when you see real fast, dramatic improvement. On the flip side, if you're missing one of these five skills and sometimes totally unaware of it even, it can totally ruin your painting. So what are those skills again? Let's go through them again. Is drawing, which is the foundation for how to actually interpret what you see and then document that onto your canvas. Value, which is a secret to creating depth and dimension so it looks like your painting goes into the background. Composition is the art of captivating visual story. Colour theory is making those colours harmoniously sing all together. And technique is the mastery of your creative tools. Now here's the beauty, you can level up any of these skills without even having to lift up a paintbrush and some take just five minutes with some sneaky exercises I created. So if you're finally ready to see some real improvement in your artwork dramatically and fast, I would love for you to join me in a live class I'll be doing on November the 22nd and I'm going to be doing a deep dive on each of those skills and you're going to see how each of these skills are used by professional artists and you're going to watch that in action. The invitation to this class is in the description box and I'll pop a link in the comment section as well. So you can just reserve your spot and I will send you all the details by email. There will also be a bonus free gift for anyone that's joining me live just as a thank you of appreciation and I think you're going to love it and I think you're going to get a lot of inspiration from it. So hopefully I'll see you there. Till then have a beautiful creative week. Bye!